Welcome back to Awesome News TV and today we're going to first look at Arsenal and Tottenham could ruin Chelsea's January transfer plans and then we're going to look at Diego Milito delivering Lazaro Martinez transfer updates as Arsenal and Tottenham learn new price. So the first transfer line states that Arsenal and Tottenham could ruin Chelsea's January transfer plans. So the reports are stating that Arsenal and Tottenham are plotting moves for one of Chelsea's primary transfer targets. Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspur are plotting moves for long-standing Chelsea transfer target Jules Koundé, according to reports. There could be a Premier League battle to sign the severe centre-back over the next 12 months. Chelsea were expected to complete a deal for Jules Koundé in the closing weeks of the summer transfer window, but the late disagreement with Sevilla over his fee broke down talks and denied Thomas Tuchel a marquee acquisition in defence. Chelsea weren't willing to stump up their offer to meet the 22-year-old £68.5 million release clause and walked away from the negotiation table. Thomas Tuchel will still hold a firm interest in Jules Koundé but could face competition from rivals close to home. According to Transfer Market Web, Arsenal and Tottenham are two of several clubs that intend to challenge Chelsea for the signing of Jules Koundé, but the France international's desire to regularly play in the Champions League could rule the North London duo out of the running. Sevilla won't be pre under pressure to sell anytime soon given Koundé's contract expires in 2024. However, next summer, Chelsea could target him as their main signing and co could cough up the £68.5 million club president Monchi demands. Tuchel recently confirmed Chelsea's failed pursuit of Kunde, but insisted he was happy with his current options. He told reporters, I assured everybody that I'm also happy if we cannot bring a player in. We will find a solution within the squad, we will push players within the squad. But it was clear we tried for Jules Kunde and Saul and it was very, very late. But it was a very, very smooth transfer window because I have full concentration on my training and on my team. Thomas Tuchel is unsurprisingly happy with his current defensive options, which have been formidable since he replaced Frank Lampard as, as boss last season. This season, the Blues are yet to concede a goal from open play in the Premier League and Champions League and still have their unbeaten record intact. Tuchel has used Antonio Rudiger, Andreas Christensen and club captain Cesar Aspilicueta as his first choice back three this term. He also has used the likes of Thiago Silva and Trevor Chalabar to choose from, with several central defence being one of the main areas in which he has a wealth of options. So it looks like Arsenal and Tottenham could ruin Chelsea's January transfer plans. And when it comes to Arsenal in terms of their pursuit of signing Jules Koundé from Sevilla, this is a very interesting situation because I don't know why Chelsea and Arsenal are interested in bringing Jules Koundé in the first place. Yes, we do have very poor centre-backs, but we have made that £50 million acquisition of the likes of Ben White. We do have Gabriel Magalhaes, who we have bought in from Lille for that £30 million mark. And then we have bought players such as the likes of um, um, players that have brought in such as Pablo Mori for £8 million, players such as Rob Holding, Callum Chambers, they are all in that position. And also the £27 million acquisition of William Saliba, who is yet to make an Arsenal debut as well. So in terms of Kunde, he's someone that can operate in that left centre-back role, but that is something where I think we are stocked in with two good centre-backs in the form of Gabriel and Pablo Mori. So for me, I don't want to waste our money on another defender. So this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news, which states that Diego Milito delivers Lautaro Martinez transfer updates as Arsenal and Tottenham learn new price. So the reports are stating that the Argentine was linked with a move to the Premier League this summer with both Arsenal and Tottenham said to be interested but looks set to remain in Serie A. Diego Milito has admitted that he hopes Tottenham and Arsenal target Lautaro Martinez remains within Milan for a long time amid reports of a new deal at the San Siro. The Argentine striker was linked with both North London clubs during the summer transfer window. It was understood that a fee was agreed between Spurs and Inter Milan. However, a deal was not completed with the Italians, having already sold Romelu Lukaku to Chelsea. Arsenal were also apparently interested, but again a deal failed to come to fruition. Whether both parties retain their admiration of the striker remains to be seen, but he looks likely to remain at the San Siro, according to Inter Milan legend Milito. Following reports suggesting the Argentine will pen a new deal with Inter, he responded to Gazeta de los Sports. I don't give any advice to him, even if we often speak. Apparently, he will soon sign a contract extension and I hope he will stay at Inter for a long time. He can adapt quickly to any attacking player. He can play with Sanchez or Correa. El Tuchu will, deceive, will be a decisive weapon this season because he has unique characteristics. Meanwhile, whilst Martin has managed to score 19 goals in all competitions last season as Inter won Serie A, 
Milito has instructed the striker to improve even more going forwards. Lautaro has improved a lot but still not enough, Milito added. He still has room for improvement because his strength is in the head, he has clear ideas and he wants to learn. He used to get ang too angry on the pitch, now he has improved, he's taking the right part, he's at the centre of Inter's attack after Lukaku's sale. As it stands, the sale see the Spurs are also in the near future looks unlikely, with it being reported by Gazeta de Sport that he would now cost £85 million. Pounds. Should, he nine, should he now agree a new contract with Inter, as Milito alluded to? And that's exactly what is expected to immediately do, as transfer guru Fabrizio Romano has added the latest nail to the North London duo's coffin with his latest update on the situation. He tweeted, Lautaro Martinez will soon extend his contract with Inter Milan until June 2026. The agreement is at a final stages and set to be signed. Increased salary after turning down Tottenham and Atletico Madrid proposals. So it looks like Diego Milito delivers Lautaro Martinez transfer updates as also and Tottenham learn new price and when it comes to Lautaro Martinez it was very clear that Arsenal definitely needed a new striker in the summer transfer window but failing to sell the likes of Alexandre Lacazette, Eddie Nketiah or Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang it led to also not being able to find some players in that position not being able for Arsenal to really recruit in that position and make also um, um, try and do what they can with the current options they currently have available try and sort something out and that's something that is definitely happening right now and when it comes to Arsenal we have looked poor in front of goal we did score six goals versus West Brom but that's the championship side but we have only scored one goal in the Premier League so far this season we were only able to claim our first three points against a very poor side in the form of Norwich who were 19th and we were 20 at that time so Lautaro Morton is at 85 million pounds is something that looks a bit too expensive but it is someone that could really revolutionize this attacking style for Mikel Arteta and really get something that is important that can only win games and that is scoring important goals. So we will have to wait and see how Arsenal performs at the end of the season. If you want to see more daily videos from Arsenal News TV, make sure you click the subscribe button, hit the like button so I know if you enjoyed the video and share the video to your Arsenal friends and family. Click one of the videos on the screen and I'll see you there.